It's important to remember that these two men were doing their job at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when they were killed. Breaking right now at 6, new details in the crash that killed a police officer and utility worker as the suspect prepares to face a judge today. A Brown University student left paralyzed after a shooting in Vermont, now out of the hospital, the next step in his recovery. Republicans squaring off in their final debate as the former president and frontrunner Donald Trump sits out again. Boston leaders taking a stand against moving one of the city's exam schools. Now, live on WBZ-TV and streaming on CBS News Boston, this is WBZ News Mornings. Good morning, everybody. It is 6 a.m. on your Thursday, December 7th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Liam Martin. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast right now with Alyssa Andrews. And boy, you need all of the layers this morning, Alyssa. You certainly do. I mean, we're reading the air temperature at 22 degrees right now, but it feels so much colder. Knock off 10 degrees from that. We are in the teens. Boston feeling like just 12 degrees. You got winds at 12 miles an hour. Dew point also at 12. A lot of 12s this morning. But it's going to be this dry air overhead. Skies are clearing and very very cold conditions are set now at 630 WBZ News Mornings continues. Welcome back live look this morning as the sun comes up 630 right now beautiful shot there of the sun rising on this Thursday morning but bundle up as you head out the door the kids are going to need jackets this morning it is cold Ooh, jackets hat gloves all of it this the morning, entire Alyssa closet. Yeah, yeah, throw <laughs> everything throw at it. Yeah, yep. because you know, we're getting so close to single digits on the wind chills. That's why when we've got the air temps at 20, if you get that little bit of breeze going, man, it feels so much colder. Right now we're at 22 degrees in Boston. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful start to the day. So many oranges and pretty colors out there, but just doesn't feel so great. We're also looking at winds at 12 miles per hour. So let's get straight to those wind chills right now. We're at 10, still at 10 degrees. Okay, so we're continuing to watch this here in Boston. We couldn't be according to a new report from GoFundMe. We're ranked as the third most generous state for supporting individuals, causes, and organizations this year. All of New England made the top 10. In fact, the top five are all New England states. Look at that. Vermont took the number one spot. Yes, we can be tough here in New England and rude at times, yes. some might say. Yeah. Yes. We are kind at heart. Yes, at Boston Marathon, Pan Mass Challenge, we're very, very generous, just mm. maybe not behind the wheel right. yeah it's like all right. that guilt like how mean you are when you drive you just go home and like donate <laughs> yes feel bad that's, that's uh, i think that's a good <laughs> that's like, don't say hi to us on the sidewalk yeah, okay definitely. i mean like uh, just trying to get to where i'm going you know, just say hi. <laughs> all you fans out there stop bothering liam no you no just, that's not what i mean <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us here on bz our newscast continues at seven join anna on our streaming service cbs news boston to scan that QR code on your screen or go to our website, WBZ.com. Anyone who wants to say hi to me, I'll say it's hi. It's far too famous. Don't bother. Yeah, right, Have right, a great right. day, everybody. <laughs>